everybody, the Montana guy, bringing another video. Uh, this is kind of going in correlation with the other day about uh, if you're having problems with lights, kind of what to check for. Um, in that other video, um, I did talk about, you know, the, the pigtail connecting to the, the trailer, um, you know, kind of what they're going over. Um, on this situation, it's about the fuse locations on a Freightliner Cascadia. Uh, the Freightliner that I'm using this month has a Detroit D2, or I'm sorry, DT12 E Coast transmission, which basically is just an automatic. Um, it's got E Coast, which is, uh, I don't know, it's like smart. I don't know. Anyways, back to what we're talking about. So, the fuse locations on the Freightliner and Cascadia. Before I talk about these fuses, uh, there's a little bit of safety involved. Number one, you want your key to be turned off, or you want your truck to be turned off. And the best approach to this would be having the key in your pocket. That way, you know for sure that it's turned off. Um, and you also want your park and brake to be set on your tractor. Um, that's just kind of a given, but you know people make mistakes. Um, so basically, the fuse boxes are designed to protect the circuits and equipment from damage. Um, when you do want to replace them, you never replace a popped fuse with a higher amperage than specified. Um, and we'll go into where you find that out here in a bit. Um, excessive electrical current um, in these can actually cause damage to the vehicle as well as a fire. And you really don't want that, especially if you're inside of it. Alright, so with that said, first one we're going to go over is this... Um, the first fuse location, which is on the SAM chassis, um, it's located on the, the front wall, as you can see here, using right here. Um, and this is for the chassis functions, also it's including the track and trailer lights. So this is, if you're having a problem with, uh, with your trailer lights or your tractor lights, uh, you don't want to check the relays and the fuses. Um, this might be a reason why. Um, you know, you're doing your pre-trip and all that stuff. If you do have the truck turned on and there is a relay that's not working correctly, you'll hear a kind of like a hissing slash ticking sound. Um, it's you, You'll know what it is when, when you hear it. Um, so this would be a place that you'd want to check. As you can tell, this takes a screw. So I'm not even going to take this off um, just for that reason. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but you do want to make sure that they're, they're tight. Um, if it's not properly secured, water damage can occur, which it says right there. So I'll zoom in on this so you can kind of see. It's not really the best zooming quality on this, but and I do apologize for that. But uh, basically, it, on this, it talks about your relays and where they're located, and then it talks about your fuses. All right, so the second fuse location is right here in this one. On the Freightliner Cascadia is the uh, power trans fuse block, and this is for the engine and powertrain operations. Um, so, again, just wanted to show you where these two boxes were located. Um, the fuse location, components, and fuse amperage are all listed on the covers of both. Um, you won't be able to see too well on this because it's sideways, but it, it talks about them right here and where they're located. On this one, I believe it's actually on the inside. I mean, it does talk right here, like R1, H20, SEP heating, um, and then for fuses, F1, EAP, 20 amp. Um, so these are two locations that they're at. Um, so I just want to give you guys a quick video again, just to let you know that if you're having problems with the, uh, um, the lights and stuff, you'd want to check right here as well. So. Again, thank you all for watching. This is that Montana guy. As you can tell, it's kind of snowing. It's a little cold, not quite cold enough to idle the truck yet, but almost. So again, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care and enjoy the woods.